Hey, welcome back everybody to our vlog series from the desk of Dr. Rob Robinson and the desk is located at Family Care Counseling Associates in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. And it's great to have you here with us looking at this vlog. I thought, I thought the idea for this vlog actually came from um, a book recommendation that I frequently make in counseling sessions with people that I work with. And the, one of the books that I frequently recommend to people that I work with is called A Course in Miracles. Uh, the book has actually started to be written in 1965 by a psychologist who worked at the Columbia School of Medicine in New York. And she began to have these, these dreams, actually. And the woman's an atheist, by the way. But she had these dreams back in 1965 that originally she found to be actually quite disturbing. But she told her colleague, William Thetford, about what was happening in these dreams. And as it came to be, she channeled this, this, entire, this entire book. With, her name's not on the cover, um, only because she feel, feels that she was really not the author of the book. That she really was channeling a higher power when she wrote this entire this entire book which is actually an amazingly powerful book on spirituality and I highly recommend this book to any person who's interested in finding a a deeper sense of who you really are in terms of being a human being you know we often operate on the human level or the human dimension which is really the surface dimension, but the being dimension, the vertical, deeper dimension of being is something that oftentimes we completely neglect or even never really even consider in terms of the depth of who we are as, as, as people. So A Course in Miracles was, was scribed by this woman back in 1965. William Thetford actually took the notes while she would talk. And... Uh, the book itself it, the book itself comes in three parts there's the the whole course which is really the 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 content of the book itself and then after that there are 365 lessons one lesson for every day of the year to help the reader work toward developing a sense of what the book is really intended to do which is to really help a person identify who they really are beyond just the human experience. And then the last section of the book is the teacher, um, the teacher syllabus for anyone who might be interested in working with uh, other people on the book itself. And so there's this book, and this little book is called this Accept This Gift. It was written by... Um, Francis Vaughn and Roger Walsh. I, I often recommend this book. In fact, I buy these, this book oftentimes in bulk and give it to people as a gift. Um, with no pun intended if I sent this gift. But it's, it's really um, basically the most salient features coming from A Course in Miracles. But I, I would really recommend reading the, the original text. But the little version of Accept This Gift has some powerful um, extractions and abstracts from, from, from the main book but two books that I highly recommend. And to give you a sample of, of, I think, what is one of the more powerful lessons in this book is the whole concept of miracles. The book kind of talks about, A Course in Miracles actually talks about how, how this whole miracle thing got kind of a bad rap from the very beginning because t traditionally when people think about miracles, you think about these kind of amazing experiences where the lame may be able to walk or the blind can see or the deaf can hear. And while those are amazingly powerful miracles, miracles kind of happen all the time in people's lives. And the problem is, is that people really aren't aware of the fact that these miracles happen because you have to really be on the right frequency in order to understand how they work. But let me read a little piece from Accept This Gift, which is the which contains the highlights from A Course in Miracles. And and there's a little section in the beginning on, on miracles. And I thought it might be cool to read this to you so that you have a sense of what 
A Course in Miracles actually says about miracles themselves. And it says this, miracles are natural. And when they do not occur, something's gone wrong. Miracles are merely the translation of denial into truth. Miracles occur naturally as expressions of love, and the real miracle is the love that inspires them. So in this sense, everything that comes from love is a miracle. The miracle comes quietly into the mind that stops an instant and is still. So, what this points to is that it's very easy for all of us to become so mind and thought identified that we literally get hijacked by the thoughts themselves. And it pulls us into a dimension oftentimes characterized by anxiety, negative thinking, agitation, and disease. And I think one of the things that becomes a powerful miracle is to stop in an instant and recognize what is happening in your mind and then realize that it's just thinking. And when there's this awareness that we bring to thinking, suddenly there's a space around those thoughts and we can begin to experience an inner state of stillness. And when I work with the people in my practice that come to see me, we work at defining miracles that way. That in the midst of a stressfully busy day when the mind is labeling and judging and reacting to every manner of things that goes on around us, when you can stop in an instant and see what your mind is up to and root yourself in an experience of inner stillness. That is a miracle. And that's why miracles are incredibly common. And when they're not occurring, something has gone wrong. So the purpose of this vlog was just to point you to these two books that I believe are life-changing books that anyone and everyone should read. So with that, I hope this was helpful, and uh, we hope to see you again in some future vlogs. And from the desk of Dr. Rob Robinson, thanks for watching.